Hi everyone, this is Julie from Designs by Juju, and if you don't know what end-to-end -end quilting is, this is a game changer. Let me explain. Our end-to-end -end designs come in a wide variety of sizes for all hoop sizes, and they come in square, horizontal orientation, and a vertical orientation. The intent of the end-to-end -end designs is to mimic the look of all-over quilting. Many of you want to quilt your quilts, but you don't own a long arm machine, so the end-to-end -end designs are a total game changer because you will quilt your quilt entirely on your embroidery machine. Each design is a single single run with no backtracking and the design itself will start on the right and end on the left in one continuous run. The designs have been created with our artist and our design team to line up perfectly from one end point to the beginning of the next end point as you go along. So we have Becky Thompson from Power Tools with Thread, who has done an entire playlist on her YouTube channel that will tell you absolutely everything you need to know, all the nitty gritty and, and bits and details and all of the answered questions. So we are going to link to that in the description of this video, but I'm gonna give you a quick overview of how it works. When you want to quilt your project, you will choose the design file that will fit all over in your project. And again, that's got all this information and how how to do that is in Becky's videos on Power Tools with Thread. You will hoop the quilt without stabilizer because you have a quilt sandwich. You have your top, your batting, and your backing. When I'm doing my end-to-end -end quilting, I love to use these magnetic hoops from Designs and Machine Embroidery, aka Dime. They are a great way to use um, our designs because it's very easy to continue to rehoop. I love the magnetic hoops. I actually use them for everything. In a nutshell, you will hoop your quilt sandwich and you'll be printing out a template with your um, printer. I love to use um, the print and stick target paper from Designs and Machine Embroidery because I print out my template on that, it peels off, you can put it into your hoop and get everything lined up perfectly. Um, if you have a camera system on your machine, like that's even better, that makes this even easier. I know not everybody has a camera system, but again, Becky will show you how to do it, whether you do or do not. So once you've decided on your design file and you've got your supplies ready, you will hoop your first hooping and stitch out your design. And then all you'll do is re-hoop as you go and you'll be able to line up the um, end point of your first design with the beginning point of the second. They line up perfectly and you'll re-hoop as you go along. And then you will continue to do that in rows until you your project is complete. I know everybody wants to do a whole bed quilt or some big project, but like with anything, start small so you get the hang of it. We recommend starting with a small wall hanging. This is, I mean, this is a decent size wall hanging, but it's still not unreasonable. Like it's still a good, this is just a quilt panel and we will use a lot of quilt panels in our samples, but these are great um, projects to start with because they're not overwhelming and they're not super expensive or you can try you can even just do it on some scrap fabric until you get the hang of it like don't go take a quilt that you have spent weeks and weeks and hours cutting and piecing when you've never tried end-to-end -end designs and try to quilt it please <laughs> just start small get the hang of it it's really easy and then you'll see you'll have much more confidence in approaching any of your other projects so a small wall hanging a pillow a placemat that's the type of project that I suggest that you start with so we have a whole design set of customizable quilt labels and actually Becky Thompson has done a video on using those as well. So Gabrielle made this beautiful quilt here for Allie and she used our customizable quilt label that says made with love and prayer for Allie 102921 and she just attached it to the back of the quilt. There are really many ways to use these quilting designs. For instance, on this quilt, we actually use like a blue colored thread, which I absolutely love. So the quilting on the front really stands out and where it really shines also on any of these is on the back where you can really see the quilting clearly. We have several hundred end-to-end uh, -end quilting designs at the moment. Our most popular bestsellers are our Bubbles, our Loopy Stipple, our Big Stipple. We've got 
all of your bases. So you've got your stars and moons, we've got your hearts, we've got flowers galore. And then we have them for every holiday. We have Easter, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, 4th of July, Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and the list goes on and we are constantly adding to our collection. And that is our end-to-end -end quilting in a nutshell. Please see the link in the video description for the playlist from Power Tools with Thread by Becky Thompson. She's outstanding. She'll make you feel comfortable in a second.